Hello, I'm Andrew, aka Quasi from Quasi's Bell Tower. And I'm your brother Brian from Brother Brian Discoveries. And this is Point Rock Review. Diddly, 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 doo. And tonight's first beer is for Blue Point Brewing Company's Hoptical Illusion East Coast IPA. That's a mouthful. What the hell is the alcohol by volume on this? Uh, Seven. Wow. Yeah, that would make anybody have illusions. I wish I, I wish I was wearing a tie dye T-shirt right now. I know, right? So uh, let's open this Blue Point. This will be our second Blue Point beer ever that we've yep. had. Uh, I can't remember what the first one was. So let's pop this bad boy open and see what another blue point uh, beer tastes like. It definitely has the IPA thing going for Yeah, it. it's definitely the hop hoppy. Yes, you can tell that. It's an East Coast IPA. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to pour this out just to get a better smell for it and mm -hmm. see how much of a hoptical illusion I Did, can Oh, they're from Long Island, by the way. Whoa, 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 whoa. You got some head there, Brian. And not in a good way. So let's try this Hoptical Illusion beer, Brian, and see what we think of it. It's a, uh, it's hoppy. This needs a lot of help. As for being an IPA, it's an IPA, through and through. I definitely taste the hops more than I, uh, yeah. That toasted taste uh, that was in the lager is the same thing that is in this uh, Hoptical Illusion. You can taste, yeah, uh, that's the, toasted. The only thing I can ex I can say is it's like a muddy IPA. It's definitely a different IPA, um, and I think it's, I think it's uh, it, like I said, if they toast it like they toast the lager, it's got that same taste. Next beer, we have Purple Haze. But it's a raspberry lager. Raspberry lager? It's wow. a raspberry lager. I'm brewed and bottled by Abita Brewing Company, LLC. Abita Springs, Los Angeles, or wait, LA is Louisiana. It's a Louisiana. That's probably why they call it Purple Haze, and you got a voodoo, voodoo guy on it. There's a uh, story on the back. Oh, cool. Go for it. Experience the magic of purple haze. Clouds of real raspberries swirl in this tart and tantalizing lager, inspired by the good spirits and dark mysteries of New Orleans. Brewed with pilsner and wheat malts, along with Vanguard hops. Let the scent of berries and the hazy purple brew put a spell on you. Let's uh, pop this bad boy open and see what it's all about. That smell is weird. I can smell I can smell the raspberry, a hint of raspberry in it. It's it's definitely the raspberry I do not like. I get like a, a hint of raspberry. I can smell a little bit the wheat that they're talking about. But it's just they're coming together very odd. Mm-hmm. Well let's drink this bad boy up and see what happens. Well, it's not a red ale or anything like that which is plus no it's definitely got the pilsner tin yeah uh, I, I definitely gave it a little too much uh foam there so i'm gonna let that chill just uh, just a little bit but it does have a red hint to it Ooh, there's Ooh. there's chunky brian there's chunky stuff in there oh there you see, is you see the yeah. well maybe not chunky stuff but you see the uh you see the spices so this looks like it's gonna be a thick, possibly heavy beer. Here, let's go for it, Brian. Let's uh, get this done and over with because I know I'm gonna regret this. Yeah, I took a very small sip of the foam because I'm afraid, all right. But actually, look, what I'm tasting, that raspberry is not that bad. No. You can taste the raspberries. It's there. It's tamed down quite a bit, though. It definitely has a sweet raspberry taste. It's not like, overpoweringly sweet but it's you can taste it's it's fresh raspberries that's for sure i mean i gotta be honest the the back end of this i get is like uh it's got like a breakfast cereal kind of uh 
aftertaste. And to that's got to be the wheat in it too. Yeah. So our first review tonight is Blue Point Hoptical Illusion. Um, this reminded me more of their toasted lager in a way. Yeah, you taste a little bit of hops to it. They say it's an East Coast IPA. Yeah, the hops were there. Um, but I don't think we gave the toasted lager a very good review and uh, I don't think so either. This one kind of helps with my illusions, you know, for the alcohol, even though it's not very strong. I think it was, what would you say it was? Uh, it was 70. Is that, oh yeah, so it's high. Yeah. So yeah, it definitely messes with your imagination, I guess, a little bit. But uh, I wasn't a big fan of this. I'm gonna go two on this because I just, uh, I don't know, maybe it's because uh, it messed me up a little bit, who knows? Mm -hmm. um, but I did not really care for the taste of this. So I'm gonna go two. Hoptical Illusion, I was expecting um, something to be way, way out there, and um, I kinda got it, just not in the way I was expecting. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, this was just bad. Um, Blue Point, I, I don't think I gave your your last one, your, the uh, the Toasted Lager, I don't even think I gave that one a high rating at all. And this one, you're most likely going to get a, a low rating as well. Uh, I, I don't, this is, I, I don't like this. Um, I would really hope you, you, you tame down maybe the IPA a little bit, maybe throw some fruit in there. Try to do something to help balance that out because right now that's just freaking crazy. Um, I think with that one, I'm sorry, I gotta go all one. It, it's it's not good mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. It doesn't deserve the goose egg zero, but I'm gonna go with one. I'm giving you some. Uh, as for Purple Haze, on the other hand, um, I was expecting bad, rancid, something horrible from this bottle. And uh, what I got, was very pleasantly surprising. Um, I was expecting a high amount of IPA and um, just an, an all around bad time, pretty much like the Hoptical Illusion, but mm -hmm. this is this went the other way for me. Uh, right off, I, mean, I wasn't expecting it to be raspberry. I had no idea they had raspberry in there until I happened to see it and it's like, wow, there's raspberry in there. And when you pop it open and smell it, it's got the smell, it's got the, the subtle, very subtle taste of raspberry, but, uh, you know, the wheat kind of presents itself in a really nice way, and I, this is gonna sound weird, but I think I might go four on this one. Wow. I wow. like this one. The purple Haze, you're, you're there. There's just, I don't know, the raspberry. I'm, sorry, man, I just don't like raspberry, okay? I don't care for berries. Uh, I really wanted to give you a three, but I just gotta push it away. Uh, so I'm gonna go 2.5. I feel kind of bad that I'm giving you guys a 2.5. Uh, but it's because of the berries, and I just don't care for berries. If I like berries, I would give you a three, but yeah, I don't like berries, so 2.5, man. Mm -hmm. So that's two beers, two reviews, and two more reasons for you to hit that hypnotical, hazy like button. Do right do in the do eye. Do Actually, no, not in the do eye. Do no, let's be good. Not, okay. let, not in the eye this time. Mm -hmm. Right into the third eye. Ooh. Do -do -do -do. Till the next time, guys. Freeze and the hazy purple brew put a spell on you. And cause your fight. By the way, I have no clue what you band. better stop the things you're doing. <laughs> you what? better watch out. I ain't lying. <laughs>